What have you seen? Stranger things yet. But something took me out of it. Pulled me away. Mm, yes, that can happen. Return when you're rested, and we will try again. What are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor! We need your help! Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... There's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No. They're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. to tell me what has happened I can't you won't understand even if I do just just trust me What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Your dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help 
her. She could be starving. Poor her. She was crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. Wait! Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once.
Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfka. What? The wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Avor? Chewy, I suppose. Good as any other. She's our best friend. Now, we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home. I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, scamper off home and take your new friend with you.
looks like I have a new letter. Whatever it is, beast or monster, defeating it would only add to my reputation. I should meet this abbess, Wolf Hilda. My eyes soon. Those raiders killed our cattle! Danes did not do this! It's the Danes! We know it's the Danes! It's always the damn Danes! Make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields! Show sense, please. 
What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? Not touch your herd. You fools are making this worse. Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there is a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. Sorry, no rabbit today. Bite marks, but not from any beasts I know. The corpse is covered in a strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. You there. What befell this poor beast? Dames befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're holed up in that old church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I've heard talk of a beast on the loose. at least.
You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, Roria. I did. The night it happened. I saw it all. What did you see? A wolf? A bear? Maybe a rabbit hound? It was a Jotun. As great as a tree. And it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name. Grendel. Beasts flung that poor creature up here to its doom. What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Hrothgar and his band of days. Were the killer's men? Whoever it was, they were mighty enough to get a mold beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes. Worse, far, far worse. I should discuss these clues with Wolf Hilda. Hilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland creature. The bite marks, the mold, most odd. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man or a pack of them. The girl mentioned a name. Grendel. No. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues. It should be up there in the trees ahead. Can you smell it? It reeks of death and evil. I know that scent well. Carrier and death. Loki Spreak. Saints! Save me! The Maulings have drawn in a starving wolf pack. Did the wolves get a bite of you? No. I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I... misjudged you. No need. But tell me what happened. The beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm... searching for my best milch cow. She's missing. And you found her? No. But I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar, leader of the warband. You know for a fact this axe is his? Yes. He brandishes it about the village, 
demanding ale. I will speak to this Hrothgar and his warband. That woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. I know the men she means. They're staying at the church near Brisleek Farm. Come, meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wolfhilda. And an uncommonly open mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable. That, at times, introduces unholy ideas. And your Church accepts your unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities, mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, stand within the folds of a greater mystery. Hrothgar's men are rowdy sorts, but the air is far too still. Stand back, priestess. This is war work. Hrothgar and his men, they... they were good to me. Have a care, Wolfhilda. The killer may yet linger here. Their leader, Hrothgar. I do not see him among the dead. <clears throat> I shall find him. The same marks as before. Bite marks. A mauling. These are not weapon wounds. Well-armed warriors. Eifor, look up. More blood. Someone crawled into the loft or dragged a body up there. You are Hrothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finnmark greater and proud of it. <laughs> For the little time I have left. I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! It broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. <coughs> what was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke. Named itself Grendel. Said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back. You and I. Not I. My wounds are too great, and my spirit takes ship. Send them to Hailheim. For me. Ride with the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel, whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait, warrior. I will... To... Best hide. 
to not scare the demon off when it returns. We'll wait up here for it to show itself again. Get your rest, warrior. I will stand vigil with prayer. Still, something stirs.
and bright. What manner of monster is that thing? Not a monster, but a man. Strange to behold, but this Grendel is, was, a man. But where did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us even the most hideous have souls. O oh Lord, forgive this man his sins, and grant unto him your grace and everlasting love. Mold everywhere. Stay here, Wolfhilda. I'll follow this trail. Eternal rest grant unto them, O oh Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May all his souls rest in peace. Grendel must have tracked this mold here, but from where? Trail leads southwest. source of the mold must be near.
leads into this pit. speaks of her child, Grendel, a cruel fate the gods have woven.
with no luck. Anyone. But the others, I could not see. He, he kept growing in body, but not in mind. He was my boy. My sweet little.
Abbas. A4, you live yet. Pray, tell all. I slew a monster that was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? The full truth of this thing may be hard to fathom. Give them a comforting one. About heroes and monsters. For the truth, the bone-cold truth of everything, is often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now, but will write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfhelda. Make it a good tale.
Greetings. Randy, take a break. Let's make for Grandabred Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. Take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandabred Shire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live in South is so small. This water smells off. You get used to it. I do not wish to. To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> God. Do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here.
Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grandebrich was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Here we are. Welcome to Grandebridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. See, it's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Wood. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits having kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. They could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will We can you... take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
atmosphere and um, the theme and everything that it does. It's the same thing, it's still with me. It's been with me since high school. The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randy. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf-kissed Iron-fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority.
cast about this land, my friend. The bandit camp. All right. Stay close and do as I do. Brood and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. You wanted to do this in secret. You seem to have for a battle. So here we go. to deliver Magni his horse. Great. Labor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. 
Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home, Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor, over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. you better Randy focus Eivor is a beast but you have my fealty Randy Anymore and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ugh, Ranvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I 
think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunova described this tower for me, a desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma, was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randy. If you must. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Sunuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. <laughs> you climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are callous <laughs> from hard work. <laughs> Well, well. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. 
You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. Free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas. Raiding, or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... ...and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Uh, oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... ...I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. I am honored by your feelings, Ranvi, but I value you as a friend. I hope that does not disappoint. It is my highest praise. Of course. Thank you. I do apologize. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we had a beautiful day. As friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Ranvi? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement.
What mischief have you been at?
Salutations! Have you got a contract for me? I have requests that may or may... Feed me. Be my eyes. I should be cautious around here. Stop! 